You know, when you've got a grand final of Evil Geniuses versus Team Secret, you can get really hyped really fast. What do they do to actually slow down Crit? Uh, I or, think... Is that even a concern at the moment? Uh, Apart think... from bottom lane, now that's a big concern. Tidehunter, a lot of damage, body blocking by Puppy, and there's four. He'll go down into the tower. Puppy spills the first blood as the Undying. They're gonna lose this tower for free, it appears. Bottom is going for four. Yep, TV got Ravage. Bomb. It's coming in. You've already got the tombstone down. Ravage will pull a pile. Maybe S4 with that control time. Puppy still wants to burn through him, but they need more damage. Puppy's coping so much from the tower. He'll go into the trees, but the remnant's right on top. So is S4. Nisha, one more hit. He'll get the kill, but Arteezy, what can he get in return? They're moving their attention over towards Fly. Zai, able to connect them the stun, and you'll say goodbye to Bane. Fly will go down. Nisha gets the double kill. Still very surprised just how aggressive S4 has been. Like, he's trying to stay as close, close as possible to get that extra experience, get up towards 10, but now body blocking, keeping him check. Puppy, there's a Storm Spirit jumping forward. He'll have to, well, actually, no, he can't pop anything here. Maybe he does with the Ravage 4 players around him, but there's no follow-up. Samael and Crit were watching. They kind of want to fight here, but new items arriving. The Kayas, the double blink daggers. Oh, it's dangerous straight. if they can kill a puppy. He'll already drop the tombstone up on the high ground. Puppy will die very quickly. They have to mop up the tombstone as well. Yapso's nearby, picking up Bane, throwing him back down. And the AoE's done! Combining with the son of running with Ravage will create space. Chris, oh. time for your black hole! Oh, to win! Jamal's looking for the right line to hit him, but Yapso! The stolen Ravage hits back in! Creating the space for Team Secret to gain the control, but Arteezy, he's joined the fight. He is the last man to arrive, and he'll work with Samael oh, to try and damage. disassemble Team Secret. They've got nowhere to run. Mid one just has to TP miss. out. Nisha, he'll blink, he'll TP. Will he actually get away? The spirit, he'll connect, but there's no more damage from Samael. Both the final cores get out. Uh, Rubik actually managed to steal the Tempest double. Uh, <laughs> so he might be able to send that little sucker over and have a look That's towards Roshan, fast. but Roshan's already down to half-life. Smoke up from Team Secret. They're wrapping around through the north side, but Not Roshan, 2.5k, now 1.5k. They have to jump right now. Mid one, if he wants to get in there, Storm Spirit, the Remnant gets him some information, but Smell's already got the eight wall. The jump oh, through the ring, and a huge jump from Nisha, catching out three. Maybe you can find more with the cleave damage the on Team It is a choke area at the moment. Crit can't turn around to do anything. You knew he would die. It's two down so far. Nisha wants S4. He's dying to the Edict. They'll keep it up with Pop Puppy as well as Nisha together. Maybe Zai. Nope. His trouble is now gone. They oh. turn attention towards Samel, the last surviving member of Evil Geniuses. And he'll have the Aegis the Immortal, but it means he'll burn it and then die again. Team Secret with four heroes. They wait to kill him all over. Samel instantly stunned under a sentry and totally down. Refraction will buy a little bit of time, but it will not buy life. They are terrified once this goes down. As you said, a great stun by Nisha. The mech comes out, but it doesn't even make a difference. And Sumail, he's just forced to attack what's next to him. No blink dagger stuck in the pit. Secret did a great job coming in and approaching it from the top left instead of trying to run in through the entrance oh. because they would have gone through so We're many gonna come back traps. Live. S4, he's initiated in with a Ravage right underneath the tower. RTZ, stay clear. S4, he won't care. He'll come up right nice and close. Yapso is waiting for it. He's in the tree lines, but it's RTZ and Samel hitting the back lines, killing off Puppy. Zai's in trouble as well. Team Secret, they try and turn this one around so they get on top of RTZ. That'll probably do it. It's still a two for two yep. trade off. Templar Assassin so picked up, and down we go again. Sven wants more damage. Mid one, not a lot of mana left. Nazi's clone is killing off mid one from up in the lane. Mid one with a quick jump. He'll live on 68 HP into the trees and far, far away. Sven's BKB being used defensively. Mid one doesn't have another jump, and they're right behind him. They've got a Tempest. No, what a he glimmer. can be glimmering. He actually can walk away if S4 can work it out. Don't walk to the left. No mid way. one, he'll be okay. He'll end up surviving. Yapsaw will die. But I like this from EG. Like, if Team Secret's on your side of the map, you can push the tier two tower. They use the Tempest double to do it, so EG. They at least get to hold down the they high saw, ground. They position. saw you the secret. There's your jump forward. And do they get this kill? Where's the support? Chris moving forward. They're taking so damn long together. And the double start. Oh he jumped God. in the back line. Flying Chris is beyond a disaster. They're going to get three heroes down from EG. Moving into S4. No point for the Ravage because this fight is over. In fact, it's going to be an entire, entire team wipe. Samal can BKB looking for revenge on his life. But the Glimmer Cape of Yapsaw. It just kindles everything. EG have nothing. There's nothing you can do to save him as EG. You're distracted now, and boom, there's Nisha, double stun, BKB pop, two racks all of a sudden for Team Secret. Man, they just had no way to close the distance. Evil Genius is in Team Secret. Remember, Ark One's only just spawning up now. And a Silver Edge. The timing of it's gonna wear off from Sven. He blinks forward, able to oh, find the stun. Where's the black hole? Where's the follow-up? Fly's already dead. S4's got nothing really to give. He wants to stun Nisha.
Mage, but needs to wait as long as he possibly can. The E-Blade from Arteezy, allowing him that time. Maybe they can wear out the BKBs. This is Amel being pulled back in by the Vortex, where the BKBs wearing off. Team Secret, they're already moving back. They want to disengage, but how does EG move forward? Where do they find their target? It's going to be the Rubik. It's going to be oh, Yamsa. Nisha! Nisha! Rabbit will sign him up. Now we'll see how well Team Secret can fight without these BKBs. Arteezy, that. the damage output is finally here. A hundred seconds, Ven is dead. They don't want to engage, and he doesn't feel like he can because of that credit. Oh, we go Head again. Forward. BKB up from mid one. Wants this kill. He's going to claim it as well. Or should he? Yeah, he will. Yeah. Mid one can't arrive in time. Oh, Crick has the rest of support. Can't arrive in time. It's Samel. He'll be here. The Orchid put the blink away. Yep, so we'll get some distance. Poppy won't be so lucky. Remember, this will be a dieback from him. Already down. 95 seconds on the sideline. And Yapso, he's being chased down. S4 is nearby. They'll have the gush. They'll have everything to slow down this Rubik. Even with the bash, they find the kill. Keeping Rubik out of the play. They're going to just take this melee racks and get back. Evil Genius has Storm. 30 seconds away. They don't get the buyback. Roshan and just go. No, they, they don't can't need to do, do that, Toby. They can just go straight for that Mega Creep Especially racks. when Nietzsche finds another target. Not both the big AoEs. He's got four stuff available. Time under. He needs to get back closer towards the base. Is there support? Is there team fight? Die. They the dodge. It won't be there. A pick up and a pull back. Buyback available from the, from the Tidehunter. But Bane up in the air. He'll go down. The E-Blade can't save him. The lightning damage just falls straight after. So much Pierce. Puppy, he's empty. One Tombstone already down. Hey, let's kill Puppy and get a secondary Tombstone. Your Scepter is available. S4, what have you got? A That'd quick careful, gun. Nietzsche with the threat. Watch the back, Nisha! He'll get the double stun! In through the rear! Yapsil's there as well! Samal's gonna go down! Team Secret! Huge fight! Huge openings! And now it's Arteezy on the front line! How much damage has he got? He is the big beast! Even gets the double stun to make it easy. Wasn't even intentional. Samal walking up under his own invis and just gets totally nailed. And we we're can, back in the game. Yeah, we can come back live. Black hole Black stolen. Hole, but then Black hole stolen by Rubik. Ready to fight, but being stunned up by the Malvos means he can't get closer. And Crit, what do you want to do? Nietzsche's dead. You've already got the kill. Nietzsche's already down mid one's finding the back lines. After flying, he's protected by the bowl, but now Fly will go down as well. But the bigger one is RTZ. And this time, it's the real RTZ. It's the real deal. He'll make a copy which one's real. They think it's the one over on the right. And well, it doesn't matter. They end up killing both. Maybe they lose Zai. No, they don't. They lose nothing. It's just undying, scouting for positioning more than anything else. The Hex is going to be reflected. But remember, it's just a Tempest clone. Yep. I love this pickup. Oh, they know he's in the trees. He's already just... dropping the Tombstone. They do have the Orcs to silence. So Puppy's going to go down, but they've got double Tombstone. Slow and high back. ground. The buyback comes in from Puppy. But where's the follow-up damage? It's under some mail. They're right on top of him. Buyback's there. Oh, yeah. Buyback. With the Black Hole. Killing up the Tidehunder. Now he's so on mid. So he's crit. held an Nigma. Crit can't do anything. He'll go down as well. The buyback's coming thick and fast. Fly more of the six. Artizi's taking the tier three tower on. Top I got the right on Samel. Oh, there's your big jump. They're looking for the follow up. Tidehunter is there. The Agassi Mortal on Samel already being broken. They're waiting for the target. Crit. And Crit! You didn't get the one over Yamso. It's all the black hole. He'll turn around in a second, but the black hole tells your rage. goes for so long. Secondary time. Oh, around. The round two got thrown up. Team Secret, where's your response? You're dead on some. You actually should have been one back. He's dead for a full two minutes. The They're looking the to push forward. Now that with the stun, fly up way too far. He can die short. We That's don't care. They look for the bigger target. Samel further down. And now maybe the damage onto Enigma. Chris got a little bit more life available. Landing the stuns. They need to buy the space. Samel can't die. out easy. Giving him the E-Blade. Buying some time. But Samel is just being burned down by Zai. The pulse never does the work. Chris in the middle, but they don't want him either. They want the real Arteezy. Chris TP out. There it is. Yep, so solid black hole. Finally kicks in. Four heroes down from Ichi. None of them with buyback. But they're still up against. Warden. It is pure objective-based gaming. Maybe Team Seeker can just take this here, right here, right now. S4, Anchor Smash will reduce that ravaged. damage. He's still He's still ravaged. Ravaged. Over. Ravage will connect. Two down. S4 able to dodge it. They're right on top of him, but that's easy. The defense is there, but the damage in the engine is too much. Seeker have the power of the imbalance. Both teams were willing to do this. So far, we already. Come down bottom, pick up this bounty. He might even look to get aggressive here. There's no vision from Secret. He's gonna wrap Stroke around. Fate. Connects into Nisha. Remember, yamso has got the extra life. 10 six chances available, and they turn the damage into Arteezy. The stun's available, Mel's keeping here. Poppy back out, but Arteezy so low, the balls are slapping him. Yamso will get the kill, but Samel, oh he'll get the wrap up. That's one, that's two. Looking for the third, Yamso tethers down 21 HP. And you just Samel's watch. gonna be playing side all game, the one yep. four. Ball Seeker 3 2, and he's still and hasty, he's going in. Pulse Nova up, they already get the sun over on Yamso. Nisha low on life, Yamso trying to play from the tree lines, but he can't give any more regeneration. But the wall is up, we're in the blood bowl, and with the damage, Nisha from inside the trees, EG too deep, too deep.
just the Chen and the Lash really that are capable of Poppy's doing in trouble. Oh, wow. He was right on top of the wall, but he was baiting. Uh, he he knew it. They're trying to use it to get the Blink Dagger around. And now with the relocate, Samel, he's trapped inside the Arena of Blood. Defensive Yule set will buy a little bit more time. And S4 comes in for his own stuff, looking for the damage on Zaya as he keeps Nisha. Stun controlled up. Support is there. But Nisha, Glimmer caped and walks back plus the relocate. So it looks like a Bloodstone will be the item of choice. Oh, Zai gets Whoa. the jump, looking after Chris. He'll get the Soulbind in return. Samel is on the way with the spear, pushing Grimstroke into the wall. Oh, and the relocate, the double stun. Samel here, Yapsor, and the follow up. They're just perma stun. No place to be for Yapsor and Nisha. Puppy begins his own retreat, but EG stampeding forward. You got a blink stop in seven seconds' time. Puppy trying to get back to the tower. The side of fist, it keeps the track out. He has defensively yours that drops Zai, skewering back. But there's that stomp in from S4. He just closed the distance. This is their hunting zone. Where is our safe place? Up on that high ground. Yeah. Keep the centaur there. Oh, here they go. Jump up. Side of fist, Zuri chains, catching two. The perfect wall up, but the soul fight combining Zai together. Double two. Maybe they got a follow up damage. And no, it's just so much mid one and Zai. They just could not handle. Samel's already got a double kill, but Nisha's BKB allows him to stand. Samel's already got a triple kill, but Nisha, what else you got left? You don't have anything. You've got no team. Funny thing is, when Nisha needs to come back, the Korean may not be able to get his Maelstrom oh, to him in time, so it's just going on foot, right in the long place. And Arteezy goes in deep. Zai puts up the Blood Bowl. Samel's going to be caught inside. They've the already got the kill over on Dying. It's a follow up into Mars. He'll have to buy back Zai to get back into this engagement. And Nisha, Flack at it, starts cleaning everything up, combining with the call down. Samel going to let this Aegis model potentially pop, but he dodged most of the call down damage. But here comes the rest of EG back in once more. S4 going in deep. He's got stuff available, but the Doom on the Emisphere, he'll get back into relative safety. As Zai looking to skew up back Sven, he's dropping low, where's the extra life? Homing Missile will also be able to get that stun out, so Arteezy is standing his ground, but EG stand together. Nisha, Homing Missile as well, whatever they've got to stop Arteezy from attacking, they'll let it go, but they kill the missile in time. The Yule Center up with the Soul Bind, mid one, and Nisha, both off the cause, getting caught, oh, allowing Samal to go and deep. The flat cannon damage is very, very heavy. I need to come back, the flat cannon's good, but Samal, he doesn't have that immunity anymore, so the Spirit's forward, so much damage, Samal streak is ended, Fly Join him, they take the mid lane of Rax. On the west, Bam He's looking for him again. Blind blink, no, searing That's chains, stuck. and the skewer back, Arteezy. Gonna have to wait just a couple of seconds. The arena of blood is up, they find a different target. Over was the Shepard, the soul find, Arteezy, the clean damage, hitting into Nisha. He moves back out, but the BKB heroes from EG, they can just move wherever the hell they want to. Amber Spirit has no other choice but to die, then buy back. Same thing for the eye, but no buyback available from him. Puppy isolated down some mail, isolating that undying. They want to kill him off. Puppy might be able to walk this off, but you won't have the same thing from Nisha. S4 staying on top of him as well as mid one. Mid one cannot die once again. He'll get the searing chains off. Finally, Puppy will be put into the grave. Look at some mail go. He doesn't want to stop. He misses the timing, however, on the Ember Spirit. Defensive Yule Center up. The skewer back. Pushes the track out, but mid one. Another stop. It's S4 on the front lines. He's got it inside of him. They'll get the die back over on to mid one. He's down as well and gets through the pool. We get a Yapsaw Enigma, a Centaur War Runner for S4. But Observer Ward's gonna get deep water. This was a pretty late ward that was already planted out. But Puppy, what's he gonna go for? S4 isolated the catcher. That's gonna go all on top of S4 with a follow-up damage from the Malefus. But they stampede, crit and fly. Both here to ensure they survive. Nid one using that spirit siphon to get some distance, but the hoof stop is down. Is there enough damage coming in from these conversions with Puppy in the tree lines? They don't have much more to give. And the spirit siphon's giving everything back to me. One is fly who's low and will be the first blood. Puppy will claim him. S4 wants more. The hoof stop's coming off cooldown right now. Crit's already helped to get one of these kills. The Malva's making it difficult for S4 to close the distance, and Yapsaw still has the army, combining with the Crypt Swarm. The damage from Seeker is there, and Yapsaw oh, playing gosh. him the trees. The sun from S4 stops at least the minion army from killing him off, but it will not stop mid one. Exactly what you're looking to do if your team secret. They already get the glyph. Yapsaw pops the Midnight Pulse just to try and create area control. So long as they have spacing, they should be fine. Their big concern is the Stampede and double stuns. But with Zai here with that early veil, I just don't see EG able to contest this. And oh, Fly's dead. just being dope. Fly staying around a little too long. Centaur's on his way. There's still no Stampede. S4 completes the TP to work with Arteezy. EG's brought everyone ready for this fight. Zai staying in the back lines. Put down his own sentry wall, but he's dusted up. So Zai will die right in front of the tier two tower. And so far with the buyback coming in from Ogre, it is EG who have the numbers. They have all five up. Samel will connect on the stuff. Puppy trying to save Yapsaw by disrupting him up, but they'll both end up dying nice. to Samel and Arteezy deep.
is the name of this. EG, you've got to be cautious. EG, don't want to fight yet. The Centaur's Blink Dagger is also coming on the Courier. It's going to take another five it's seconds I, before it will I. arrive, but Team Secret are already adding the pressure to the Tier 1. No fortification left the anymore. From Zyga, oh, he's being in. S4's looking for the target, and they're so close. S4 gets the double stun. Zyga's hit through the rear with the Epicenter. Samel is low, but that's why you've got an IO. Triggers the one charges, a defensive disruption, but now he's just sitting inside that. Mid one will kill him off by staying on top, using the exorcism to work. The relocate out to safety will not help anybody. In fact, S4, he does not want to be underneath that midnight pulse. Turns over towards mid one, battling against the exorcism. Fly needs some distance. He's got a stun available as well, but that's why Zai in Viz oh. under the sandstorm. They've already got a double kill, but Chris back to the fight. After relocating out, mid one will end up going down. They'll have the extra help because Arteezy is a beast. Crit will finally fall to Zai inside the sandstorm, but Arteezy stands. But here comes Evil Geniuses. They are not letting this go. Remember, S4's got the blink. They cannot be grouped up. Yapsaw having to move a little bit further back. He does have the Grease ready for the fight, and they're bringing it in. Smell with the BKB trying to get away. The black hole! It catches Arteezy as well as S4. The two big claws. He's had all the time in the world to hit him. Crit relocates him up, but it's only up the hill. Smell's already down. They just don't have any other help. Mid one is a beast on the front lines. Fly! He's trying to retreat, but there's really nowhere to run. Nisha's got blink off cooldown in one second time. Remember, he's got the mana void as well, and they realize the relocate was going to bring Crip back to the fight, but Arteezy nans up, goes for one. It's a support for a support trade-off. Again, all set up by that ward of Fly. Just Here they go, fades. not S4 again. He's been the punching bag of Team Secret, but is it really? Here comes the mail, blinks into the back lines with the BKB, they're targeting mid one. They need to kill him up right now. Puppy, he's already used the disruption aggressively. You lose off one, it will be SD, but Nisha in the battle. They're running out of mana, mid one still needs to bloody die. Arteezy will finally get the double kill, moves attention towards Nisha. Yep. G, you gotta find Puppy's Shadow Demon before you initiate. Fire Strike comes in over an RTZ. Do you want to commit the big one? There's your reload. The okay, you'll set her up. You won't be able to get away from this one, or will you? The Stampede, a destruction from Puppy, making it so RTZ can't just walk away. The Black Hole! It'll catch him on the side, and Samal's in the middle. He's looking for some rebuttal. Puppy will be the one to die. A one for one trade up as the big call. Fire Strike's up target, but Samal's BKB is still protecting him, but it cannot protect from Nietzsche. It's overwhelming damage. Two heroes down from EG, but the bigger thing, no buyback for the cause Samael and Arteezy are dead and money cannot save them. They're taking the tier three. They're working on the melee racks. Crit knows there's very little he can do about this. They'll actually go for tier fours. No what does EG even do? They don't have a fortification. They can't buy time. Nisha will blink forward. S4, he needs to kind of blink in and do something, but not ready, Puppy. He was ready. Disruption now, fire strike. Oh, Crit's already been deleted. He'll buy back into the game. Five seconds till Samael. 11 for Arteezy. They need some suns. They need some control. Disadvantage where Secret can guaranteed go for one of your cores without look any way to save higher. them. You need to relocate out this one. The fire strike's already come out. Life Stealer will rage, moving through the trees, using the stampede. Crit trying to push himself down with a force up. Can't get the distance. Now it's all about the isolation of Arteezy. He will be brought down. Both heroes have 100 seconds on the sideline. And yep. GG, the team are running a totally different kind of style of Dota. But it's fine. Yep, so still got tangos and... Doesn't matter when you regen through four, but that Whoa. does matter to male. This net worth, though, is really going through the roof. How many times do we watch EG have the advantage? Of course, Arteezy, one of those top two net worths, in a little bit of trouble. Trying to just dagger himself over the trees. Puppy, do they want to dive underneath the tower? You bet they do, and they'll have it. Fly can't really stop it. The Vortex gives the extra slow. Arteezy into the trees once again. The one charge has given him a little bit more time and look for a little bit more, but EG, they want to fight. To male, jumping in. The Dara Observer was watching Nisha as well as Yapsor. Yapsor just oh, explodes no. thanks to the rebuke. Crit got the kill, and now they turn over towards Nisha. He needs a target to jump to, and well, he technically found one. Fly up the hill, they'll end up getting the kill into Nisha. Playing Enigmas, he's able to not just become a core as mm -hmm. he accumulates net worth, but actually make plays aggressively. Well, he's meant to be game. an enabler, but Samael, he's just looking for the target. Ice Blast flies in, it's gonna hit huge. Puppy will end up burning down. Arteezy's there and another jump in. Yapsaw caught on the tree lines. Now it's over towards mid one. Five heroes from EG in the middle lane under the tier one. Taking secret. Duration added in addition to haunt. So, like, what do you do? It's just Sumail initiating, and all of a sudden his entire team is there in support. Uh, we come back live, Abaddon having the borrowed time triggered, and of course Sumail's just waiting for it. Stunned up a little bit, but he's already found the kill. Needs a little bit more life to get back oh. out. It's Zayu as she has a wicked kill spree, jumping in. Crib will help out by putting the arena of blood down, but he wants a TP out as well. Arteezy a bit isolated in the mid lane. Yeah. Not the first time we've seen this happen, may not be the last time, S4's hanging around. 
He may need to help out. Here comes your ice blast. I can get hit by this one as well as PA. Oh the Inter Lasso broken free by Puppy by allowing Score. the shield, but mid one's already going to go down. There's two heroes down. Going to make it a third with a ball attack back over on Zai. Couldn't phase shift in time. Now it's two heroes who don't have buyback. TA, do you want to use yours? It's such an economical disadvantage. EG claim four. But it's about as good as it gets. I see who they can get. Crits the most obvious target. Jumping forward. S4 doesn't actually get the extra hit. Sorry, Zai with that with that uh, dream coil. Now they turn their attention towards Crip, but here comes the mail. In the middle of the fight, targeting Yamsor, removing that heal, then through Poppy. Who's the next on the target? The BKBs are going to wear off from Team Secret in just a second, and Zamel's already in there. Arteezy will find one, but it looks like Secret have no real hope to win this one. Up into the air, PA will end up going down. Three heroes who don't have buyback. And the score really giving insight into the only way I see Secret taking this one. <laughs> this opens up the shrines. And Team Secret, hey, you just lost a fight, you just lost a Rax, what do you do? You run forward, looking for your own engagements. I was looking at Fly and Crit, but they saw the really fight he wants. Nietzsche is able to get a Fly, but the AA oh. is flying and has already done the work. A badness that AA will lose his life for it, but somehow is all on the front lines. Here comes S4, Lasso on mid one, he's cancelling all this damage. Nietzsche's got some of it as well, at least they'll get the wall up. Crit can try and fight him, oh, no. three heroes down from Evil Jesus. Nietzsche, he's clipped, he's actually got our turn. S4's going to be right there to help out, Crit will rebuke him down. <laughs> oh. He would love to have this fight. There's a regeneration rune that just got picked up by Storm Spirit as well, so we can use that to get into the fight. Meanwhile, the wall comes up, mid one, trapped inside the arena of blood, and here's the mail! It is the electric hull, bringing them all in together. Three heroes down. The only buyback is from Sai, and DG is called back. This is game five, and what a draft we're starting with. Flesh in the storm in later phases. Oh, S4, you didn't want to walk into this. They were just looking with the double iron shells to take the creep wave, oh, but no. Puppy was here for the shackles. S4's going up into the trees. Another impulse done is there, and Zai will open the account. And he He's can't come back. Mark. He can't come back unless the support from EG gets up here first. If he TPs up, they're oh, just gonna die from again. He's TPing under, not you can't again, do this. S4. Are we reliving? This is a broken record. The record's stuck, the record's stuck, and S4 is stuck under the S4? team. Four I think it's the first time DP, at least in the bracket stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at mid Already one. Off to a great he actually slapped out on Arteezy, so he's got the bonus damage to kill off Fly. Such a great play from him. Crit's on the way over. Spirit siphons him. I just wants to slow him down. Is there a tree? No shrine. Crit's wrapping around the side. The shrine is not available, but it is there for TP support to come in. Will it be enough? Now Crit oh, will debate. arrive. He goes with the first hit and the tree. Skewer him up. By some time. Hilariously enough, that tier one tower oh. still hasn't gone down yet, but Fly is burning underneath it. Zion's got double waves up, so battling in multiple places as mid one gets that Wukong's command down. They'll kill off S4 as he runs down south while Fly makes a break for the tree line, but they're not giving it up just yet. Oh, Zion will keep up with Fly and the tower. Well, that goes the way of Samael, but can Fly escape? Zai just locked him in a corner and Arteezy wanted to help out but couldn't do anything. In the event, yeah, so engage. He's around the corner. Crit's jumping in. He's looking for the spear. There's he's the able hearts. to get it, putting Darkseer over on the wall. S4 is going to cast the Doom. It's over on the Darkseer. Puppy's nearby. Can't really get the denial. He's got problems of his own, which is some mail. Able to find that kill. So back to back kills. They want to get that pick off and then chase for more. S4's got the target. Here comes Yapso once again. Sentry Ward. They see Yapso. That's why S4 is going side to side. But the stun is a double with the Mass Serpent Wars. S4 is trapped inside the Wukong's command. Crew wants to help out. But what can he do? He can put down oh the arena. My God. What a skewer with the fatal bond. Team Secret. They are bleeding together. Team Secret. They have to get the hell out with what they've got. Zai wants to still fight around this wall. And Nisha, that's the real one, walks straight in. A quick silence, here's your extra TP over. He'll get oh. the Manasile off, and Song of the Siren begins. And look mid, they caught Crit in the meantime. Oh boy, he needs to get himself out of this Wukong's command. Crit, he's actually got the distance, but no, the Darkseed wall has to be committed to find his own kill, while Puppy is trapping for more on mid one. Four. He's taking his own little gap, and yep, up the hill they go. Mid one, working to kill off Fly. Puppy is still Isaac. S4 and Samela is doing the best they possibly can. But remember, this is a support. You'll get one more Hex and the rest of each, and the rest of Team Secret have now moved over. They'll get their own slap down. And the call done. Here's your buyback coming in for the Warlock. They need the Rock. They need the Cogs. They need something. They need to actually bring him down. And Monkey King finally will die. Well, he's still alive. The bonds. This is the problem time. Triple kill for S4. They're moving in. Another stun for S4. Give him the kill. It goes to Arteezy. Team Secret were looking for their own one, however. We're going for some L. Yep, Sentry is down, well, so here, if Nick wants to come forward, they'll know it. Crit, jump forward the Doom! It got on top of the 
Monkey King, and he got... Oh, no! The dagger was just a little bit too far out. Now Special Horn, they want to join in. They're looking for the fight, and they want the kill on mid one. The Song of the Sun will put out TZ to sleep. The rest of EG is just on the edge. Nisha trying to play the perfect positioning. Remember, Fly, he's got Fatal Bonds, and he's got Rock. Three grouped up together. Oh, you got four On four! The Rock on four! It's just everything on four! A boss is back in the Doge. Madonna, Puppy will die over on the sidelines. They've locked him inside the Arena of Blood. Puppy will finally go down. Two is the casualty for Team Secret. They'll have a chance. Nyx Assassin's nearby. They have Dust on crit. Another Sentry Ward being planted down. They're not on top. S4, that Blink Dagger. He's going to jump in. Gets the stun. Remember, it's that Glimmer Cape. This time it's Puppy's Wook on command. Mid one comes in through the rear. He gets the double stun out with the mass open wards. S4's trapped. He can't get Doom off. Finally, he'll break three. Thanks to, thanks to the Phase Boost. Trying to isolate out the heroes, but you've already lost Mars. Now, Mid one back into the Wukong's command. It's worst position to try and fight with a oh, double stun. Off. It's from Yapsaw. Maybe Fly can return this one around by hitting the Fatal Bonds as well as the Rock. Arteezy, he's beating into Yapsaw. Looking for some extra damage, but he's in way too deep and will be brought down. And now find an extra one. The hex control was there from Puppy. Fly won't escape. The TP song of the siren. It catches Doom napping. The devil, he does sleep. And he'll be brought down with another stun from Yamso. Nisha even leaves his illusions. There's no exorcism. The BKBs are even still on cooldown for the moment. The tier three tower on top and middle is both being killed off. Crit tries to create some space. Six seconds until you have Samel back into the game. But Arteezy, will he want to commit the buyback? You're gonna lose at least one lane of racks. How hard does Team Secret want to push this? They've been pretty restrained before. The army of the monkeys, that's just not gonna work out for you. Smoke up from Evil Genius, the same from Team Secret. Once again, Yaps are on the front line. The Whoa. match! Three men done! Three men done! Three men done! Yes, three men kill! EG! They are the real three, even though they're guaranteed two. They'll lose another one. Samal pushed back out, but mid one's chasing him down. One more punch will do it. Three heroes from EG down. This will be a guaranteed rush off the Secret. Or they could just go up mid. They could try to end it right now and deny EG another ESL one title. We've got the blink now Next. on Zion. So close. The sentry will oh, them back up. The stuff's working out. The BKBs do come out. And S4 looks for his initial target. They're all trying to bail out of here. Already Mars. He goes down so quickly. Crit had no chance. When they actually, that's the real Nisha, guys. Uh, he's, he's sitting there. You thought that was actually fake. They didn't get it. The Doom is over on the Monkey King. The initiation comes out. Song of the Siren. Nisha, Easy. he looks to try and reset. No Doom now. No Haunt. How do you fight when you know that both cores of Secret will be able to fully catch your spells? Back, no follow-up stun. The Orchid Silence was going to be there, but Team Secret not getting the perfect combination. Nisha pushed over, not held up on the high ground. However, he'll ensnare over on Arteezy. He's a frontliner with no mana, and around the Darkseer wall, the Shackles holding him down. Buyback is available, so Arteezy can rejoin this fight instantly. They need the Rock, they need something. The Gladiator Pit has been dropped. Fly, now he'll drop the Rock, combining with the Fatal Bonds. Team Secret is all connected together. They had some dispels. They need a spear, they need something to hit. They only pop the Aeon disc as Puppy. He's in the trees looking for his own shackle under the cover of that ghost. Oh, 